What's going on, Hunger Hunters? Welcome to Andy's official THG flagship Monster Hunter tier list. Quite the mouthful. <laughs> well, I'll give it a mouthful. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> All right. Okay. So there's going to be design. So number one, the overall design of the monster. Mm -hmm. The armor plus mm -hmm. the weapon. If I if I if I get around to that, mm -hmm. that's not number one. Uh, the hunt itself or the fight, and finally the ecology or the lore behind the monster. You guys probably have seen cats in the tier list already. There's one thing I'm going to do from the beginning that's going to change everything. I'm going to minimize them just slightly. Why? Because I want them to fit in the boxes. Oh. <laughs> it's just my OCD. Oh. <laughs> it's my OCD. I'm really? like, they're out of the lines. I like it when it's out of lines because <laughs> it's just like, oh, <laughs> let me be free. I can't. I can't. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's jump right in. Okay. So first one we're talking is Rathlos. Okay. So I like Rathlos. I do. Not really. I don't enjoy his flying all the time. Um, <laughs> but I do have to remember that he was a very basic like design. He yes. was from the original thing, right? So like I can't blame him too much for being basic. Not his fault. Not mm -hmm. his fault. His mm -hmm. armor, I've actually grown to like. Oh really? Over the time we've played, I've started to like his armor a little bit. The, even the skills on them, we just explore attack boost. Oh, pretty you're talking good. about these. They're pretty good, you know? Like <laughs> the the lore of the ecology behind him is kind of eh, I know he's king of the skies and I know he gets his ass beat every single generation because they have to give this new monster, you know, their chops. But I'm like okay with him. He's not terrible, but he's not great. He mm -hmm. he's going to be the neutral for mm -hmm. me. So he's a solid B. Just solid B. <laughs> solid B. Okay. All right. As a Rathlos immediately goes into D. <laughs> immediately. I'm going to minimize him. So he's a little tiny boy here. Uh, because he is literally just a rehashed different color change. I know there's a couple of different changes to the fight. I know his armor is blue all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, really no big changes there. That's it. And then nothing left to speak on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the design, I can't speak on the design, the hunt. Like it, it's, he's just in the air more. Oh, like, there's, yeah. There's nothing else oh, yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. nothing else. Okay. Kushala. Now, Whoa, whoa, this boy whoa. right here, Kushala. Okay. <laughs> when I first fought him, because I first started with Rise, he was all right. He wasn't super annoying like most people because I didn't play the old one, right? I appreciate him though. Okay. I will say, as an early design and just taking that into account of a rusted dragon and whatnot, it's cool. A metal dragon. I don't like the whole tornado gimmick. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's not very fun. Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna drop him in C. Ooh, gotta be really honest with you. I think he's gonna be in C for me. Okay. I can appreciate design, but I think everything else about him just doesn't make up for it. Oh, even weapons? I don't have fantasy weapons. Really? I'm okay. I'm okay with them. Like, eh, eh. Okay. If it's uh like Risen Kushala or like the different version, oh. sure. But normal Kushala, don't really like. Now this boy, this uh this orange blue boy here, I he's 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 different for me now. I didn't use like him that much, and I think it's because when I first started playing Monster, Cat told me he was terrible. <laughs> And you know what he was? I did it. I did it. I said I was scared of him. But same thing. Same thing. That's what I mean. He was terrible. <laughs> terrible to fight. Right? He just runs at you. Just brute force. Whatever. I remember playing. I was like, he's not that bad. But I think it's because she has, you know, FPTSD. you play freedom. Yeah. So that makes sense. Uh, overall, I do like his design. It, again, going back, knowing that it's an early design, I, I really do like him. Uh, the brute force thing, I agree with you on. I actually really do like him as well. The hunt itself is very basic, but I think it's basic enough where if you don't know the fun enough if you don't know the basics of the game you get screwed because he rushes in where you don't heal at certain times he'll jump at you like that kind of thing and he does a lot of damage the only weird thing about him is the roar hurting you like that's not like brute force right yeah I guess. That's, yeah. that's the only weird thing but surprisingly i'm gonna put him in a oh yeah wow i got a whole list going wow. on you see, this, guys? you see this okay so oh. already still different oh narga oh narga oh you little goth, you. <laughs> I like Narga. I do. I like him more in the older games, just like you said, because he's more like furry or less furry, less, less furry. furry, more scaly, right? Less like more, yeah, and more intimidating. Yeah. I will say in the older designs or in the older games, his eyes glowed more. Mm -hmm. They were more red, and like the when he darted around, you actually see the eyes mm -hmm. like darting around with it. Mm -hmm. I think that was really cool going back. I like his weapons. His armor looks really good too. The whole ninja aesthetic with the evade stuff, evade window, like that kind of. It's really cool. I do enjoy that. Overall, his lore and ecology in terms of like being a very fast monster, like agile monster, I do enjoy as well. Taking into account, if he was my first flagship or if he was introduced around the same all these other things, I think he'd be still pretty cool. I'm going to drop him into... Why are, you, why are you making that? Oh, no, nothing. What's that? What's that? Huh? Nothing. What's that? I see. Huh? What's that? Nothing, huh? I'm just he's, a, he's in D. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's, he's, a, he's a solid B. 
He's not he's not great for me, but he's not terrible. Mm, I'm mm. in the middle. He's a so so. Mm. He's a so so. At least he's not an Azur Rathalos. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Now we got Lagia Cruz. We have an unfair uh opinion on Lagia Cruz because we've only played him through GU. GU. Yeah. And from what I know, in GU, he is absolutely terrible compared to what he usually is. Yeah. Because underwater, I've heard he's a great fight. Everything about him is great. So I can't speak on that. So I can only speak from GU or from what I know. In terms of design wise, I really do like him. I like the fact that he's like, uh, what would you, what is he like, a lobster eel thing, electric? Eel lobster, thing? lobster. His, his 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 armor looks like a lobster. That's the only reason oh! why I say that. That's the only reason I say that. He's probably not a lobster. Right, yeah, you're right. Um, I really like him. I like the element on him. I like mm -hmm. the look. Like, look, look, is this a regular lobster cruise? I'm pretty sure. Isn't there just a regular lobster cruise? No, I think there's like an ivory one or something. Uh oh. Anyways, uh, or abysmal, or abyssal, something like that. I know, I know there's a. I don't know if yeah. Uh, this is the thing. This is how deep we don't know this. I don't yes. know if this is the variant or the regular version. Right, yeah. I don't know. Oops. If okay. it is, oopsies. So, regardless, we're talking about regular Lagia Cruz. Uh, I like him overall. I don't know his lore very much. And for what I know, his fun funny enough, even his hunt in GU for me wasn't terrible. I do like him. I just wish I got the full experience of the older one. But from what I know already and just what he does. I'm actually gonna put him in eight. Really? Yeah, I would put him in eight. Surprisingly, I'm thinking about it. I I think I would put him in eight. Right? I'll be real with you. Mm, mm. Okay, Zenoger. <laughs> oh, Zenoger. Oh, you pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Okay, so Uno's gonna kill me if I don't put him in S. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you know, he's gonna go in D, just because. What? All right. So okay. I don't really like Zenoger. What? All that much. If I'd be honest, I like his music, but I don't really like. Him. Okay, I remember no, you I like. No, I faked you out. Oh. <laughs> It's so funny. No, I, lo I love Zenoger. Yeah. I like his his design. I think his design is fantastic as a thunder puppy. Uh, it's it's a great look. His lore and ecology, the Fulger bugs, where he like, I think he grew up, uh, like when they were younger, they actually uh, eat Fulger bugs. Ooh. And if they over, like they overdose or something, they actually die. What? Uh, yeah. So like there's a potential, like basically growing up, there's a risk of even getting to adulthood. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think from what I read in the comments, correct me on that. Uh, but from what I like about him, he's really cool. Mechanics are really cool. Fight is really good. I like his charge modes. He's basically super Saiyan without being Regen. Oh. So I appreciate that. I like his fight. I like him overall. Oh, break the O's. Break the <laughs> The, the penis dinosaur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I the forgot you said that. Okay. Overall, I'm okay with Breaky Dios. Okay. I don't like fighting him. He swivels a lot like a boxer. <laughs> oh, you're right. You know, oh he God, like yeah. swivels on the ground and just twer like he twerks this way and then he twerks this way. You know, I'm okay with him. His armor is just meh to me. Like his overall lore and ecology. Raging Breaky has definitely, I will say, has redeemed him quite a bit. But he's not raging. Mm. That's the thing. Um, I'm sorry for a lot of raging breaky fans, but he goes and see. Or just regular breaky. Oh yeah, sorry. Regular breaky. I'm sorry, he goes and see. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I have halfway. Yeah. Can you no, you have to choose. You have to choose. You have to choose. You know what though? Uh, yeah, I think I think he, Really? Wow. I don't, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a big fan of him. Wow. I just don't. I don't. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's go. Uh Ooh. we have okay, Gore. Gore, my baby Gore. Um <laughs> Gore. I love Gore. I like his design. The emo kid in me screams everything for him. No, my Chemical Romance days uh, and Billy Talent days, you know. But funny enough, he actually, for me, will go in A. Mm -hmm. And the reason why he goes in A is because I like Shigaru much more. Oh, That's the only reason. I'm, I'm just thinking, right? Like, the reason why I like the Mangala line is not necessarily because of Gore himself. Oh, I, I like the Mangala line because of the whole lore aspect of it, mm -hmm. not just him by himself. Mm. Okay. His hunt, his fight, his hunt is okay with me. Yeah. Mine is the part that you said earlier where um, you were talking about how everything changes black and purple and when it gets dark. That's the only thing I like. I really enjoy without it. But I'm thinking like Kyadagor, Shigaru, the music and all that. That stands out way more to me than his music. His design though puts him up here. All right. We got Seragios. We got uh, Bellbottom Steve. Bellbottom Steve. We got Bellbottom Steve here. Uh, I like his design. The whole pine cone yeah. aspect. I really do. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy his design. It's not terrible but it's not like a fan i think actually no i, I do say that it's a fantastic design uh mm -hmm. music wise i'm eh on his music mm -hmm. even his armor i'm eh on it's not like crazy to me mm -hmm. his hunt little annoying little annoying especially little in annoying. the older games he's just he just never oh yeah he never comes See, down yeah. they did however uh make it a little bit better by making him a glass cannon he doesn't have that much health you take him down pretty easily mm -hmm. so i'll give you that 
but he's pretty annoying. So for that reason, I'm gonna put him in C. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's definitely not. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna bring up something. Okay, what do you bring up? How about the hammer? His hammer? It, okay, so his hammer changes. I like the fact that he changes between it, but it's not oh. enough to bring him up to be. Okay, okay. Not All right, fair. Not That's enough. fair. Not enough. Glavinus. I like Glavinus. I thought he was really cool. I think he's still really cool. But he's he, he's uh, he, he's a good design, but he's not. I like his music and everything, but he's not like crazy for me. Like that, that's all I can say. Like design wise, he's cool. Like the reverse spikes and stuff. His hunt, his hunt is pretty good. Yeah. The whole spinning, like you gotta really watch it's it. Fun. I just hated his hunt at first because I was playing Ariel and I. Oh, was so your first Absolute, experience? Absolutely <laughs> hated it, but I've grown to like it. <sighs> I like his hunt, or I like the ecology because I like that he sharpens his tail with his mouth. Mm. I think that's really cool. That's a really good call on a lot of things. But I will drop him. Hmm. Well, where will I drop him? B. Really? B. Okay. He's I like he's, he's just fair. Like he's just fair. Not he's fair. He's not. He's again. He's not bad. He's not great. Mm. He's kind of in the middle. He's what you would expect a flagship. He's the standard. Okay. He's the standard. Okay. Uh, that's what I would say. Everybody has to at least meet his quality. Valstrax? Oh, Valstrax. Is it, I think this is Crimson Glue. Yeah, oh, I'm is it? This, by the way. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, everybody. I think. I don't know. You can't tell anymore. Yeah, he goes straight to S. Very cool. Uh, how do I say that? Like, you have a jet dragon. How did you go from this regular ass guy to this guy? I don't know. Yeah. Right, you know, like... <laughs> I gotta give you tops. Like you go from a regular ass Western dragon to a jet dragon that literally is a docile creature. Right. That just stays on the peaks of whatever it is. And the only reason why it ever got in the way of anything is because you were on its flight path. Oh, is that what it that's was? That's the only reason why. And then right. you go eliminate it because you're in its way. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It's Anyways, so yeah, so that's a it's a pretty dumb reason to kill mm -hmm. him. But mm -hmm. anyway, I really like him. Uh, armor wise, you look like a Gundam. Like, yeah. come on. Like, you can't, you can't mm -hmm. go on that. Uh, his hunt is ridiculous. Like, you have to know what you're doing mm -hmm. at that point. Otherwise, he's just stupid dangerous. So, I love him for that. The, again, ecology, lore, we can talk about all day. Really cool. I'll keep him there. All right, round to this boy. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Taking into account the fandom of World. Taking into account people saying that he is the best Elder Dragon out there. Um... Yeah, I don't agree. I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm I okay. So if I think he was properly rated more, I think I'd be really okay with him because he's just a vulture. Mm. At the end of the day, he's just a vulture. He just picks up on dead elder dragons. But I hate the fact that people think like he's just like you know this eater of elders. But I'm not going to talk about that because that's not part of uh, the oh, right. design armor I mean, hunt thing. Yeah, I did. I mean, that. keep that in mind. Oopsies. Okay. So design wise. I think he's okay. He's not too much because if I was talking too much, I would also say Madame All is too much. Mm. I, look, both of these designs are way too much. Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff going on in Mag. There's a lot of stuff going on in Nergi. They're both a lot. Yeah. They are, right? But I think the fandom skewed a lot of what I think about him. Mm -hmm. But I will say he's okay. He's not great, but he's he's not like my least favorite. Okay. He's just overly rated oh. way too much. Like way, way too much. So we're going to keep him a C. Right, uh, I'm not a fan of his armor. No, I, I think it's I, I think it's the oh. same reason I have with him. He yeah. just has too much spikes going. Around yeah. Around. Okay. No, you're right. Like, you're right. I don't. And, I'm not a fan. It, yeah. It's just to me, if I were like thinking whenever I wear that armor in game, I just feel like I can't move. Right. I just yeah. feel very clunky. Oh, oh. Uh, kiss. Like kiss. You're right. There you go. Like the kiss. kiss band. You know, it's like kiss. That, that's all it is. Like I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan, but he's he was not in D tier. Funny enough, even though Breaky is. Oh, I'm interesting. I'm yeah. just not a fan. Okay. All right. Volcana immediately goes yeah. to D tier. Okay. I am not a fan okay. of Volcana. I, I, maybe it was the way the story was paced or something. Mm -hmm. He was just very, it was just a disappointment. Right. Like it wasn't necessarily oh, right. a, a hard fight, just an annoying fight. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. I, I, I think it was just an annoying fight more than a hard fight. Mm -hmm. His stupid ice beam everywhere. And yes. Not. Uh, so I, I think he definitely deserves that D tier. Not a fan. You're right I'm with the storyline. Yeah. I hate. I'm not a fan of Volcana. And mm -hmm. then even when they came to Sunbreak, I was just. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. Let's talk about my boy Mango over here. I like him. I like Samurais in general, mm -hmm. so that's a little bit biased on that. His design, I do like. I like that these pop out whenever he's mad <gasps> right. and that kind of thing. Well, that's cool. Yeah. The hunt itself, I think, I enjoy his hunt a lot because you're jumping from one in new game, but the pacing of him is ridiculous if you're not used to the game. He's one of the first ones that flies at you so fast, always right. on top of you, right? Like you have to really understand wire bugs to fight him. Mm -hmm. And so like, mm -hmm. 
I think uh, in the demo, he was a menace. Right. Oh my, he was the hardest thing yeah. ever, right? Nowadays, you know, I think we've we've over outgrown Sunbreak and Rise a little bit to see that, you know, like he's he's a regular flagship. He's not terrible. I like his lore. I like the whole fact that, you know, it's the undead uh, ghost flame, hell flame thing. I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's not in S for me. He's going to be in A. Okay. I like him, but he's not enough to like, funny enough, breach the S tier. Ah, uh, I see. Right? I, 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 I like all that. Mm -hmm. If you're talking like score and mag and all this stuff. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe. gosh. Yeah. But for now, he stays in A. Okay. And lastly, Mal's a no. The Malzussi. <laughs> the Malzussi will go immediately into S tier. S tier. Design wise, really cool. Come on. It's a vampire dragon. I remember the first time the Sunbreak right. Zero drop, mm -hmm. we were so invested, right? Armor, really cool. It's like a knight armor, but like a corrupted knight oh, kind yes. of armor, yeah. right? The hunt is really cool. Stabby, stabby with the tail. It's really good. The abilities, the blood blight stuff, really cool the as well. The, the transporting the tra thing. Oh my God. The, yeah. The, the transportation, oh, or teleportation thing. Yeah. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the lore itself obviously was right the fact that this is well later on as we find that he's actually like a symbiotic relationship with these uh curio things uh so i'll properly rate him into s right wow my list is very even yeah yeah pretty much i respect that yeah do i want to change it? yeah what, last what chance yeah i think i'm good my tier list let me know what you guys think um hold on so take a screenshot of this if you guys want to argue anything or tell me why you don't like or you don't like this decision <clears throat> or pause yeah or pause Oh yeah, pause. <laughs> pause can work too. Um, so now I'm gonna change all this because people like to jump to the end of the video and uh, we will actually, call you out. Not actually watch anything. So what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna put Valstrax down here because uh, people tend to like Valstrax. But people know that he's in the D. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. This is my official THG flagship tier list. Keep in mind, this is not based on power levels or anything. It's just based on what I like. We're talking about designs, armor, hunt, fight lore ecology so yeah keep in mind let us know or let me know why you don't think seragio should be an s tier or <laughs> you why, like why malzano should be an s tier or tigers or why you think nergi shouldn't be in d tier let me know fight me it's all good all right uh thanks for watching uh remember to share like and subscribe for the video and let us know what the next tier list we should be doing is and when when catch it play elden no oh we'll see you next oh. time stay hungry not about that okay stay hungry